Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We are in the mix of the beginning of the SWIFT system being taken over by XRP. Now you might think, whoa, Serpent, where'd that come from? I mean, I know that we're 10% up today, but damn. Now, there are things that we're going to talk about today. Which we're going to make it a little bit clearer for you. Now, can I please reiterate that when I say that, I'm not talking about today, tomorrow. It's not going to happen overnight. Calm down. It's not going to happen within 48 hours or something like that. But we are at the beginning of the end for Swift. And I'll explain why. Now, of course, the news came out. The markets plummeted. About 500 billion went off the market. I mean, you know, we saw prices go down really, really fast. And we went down as, to as low as 34519 for Bitcoin. And already today we're up, you know, like the highest we've had today is almost uh, 39000 And we're sitting at 38475 at the time of making this. So some of you are really scratching your heads going, hang on a minute here. Well, why isn't it going down? Well, I did tell you, uh, I told you a couple of days ago that the day of invasion is the lowest point in the market. And then it starts to go up. And it happened for four consecutive wars in a row. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, right? Because there is still the possibilities of heading down towards 34,000. And I would say that 33,000 is very likely as well. Now, beyond that, there is way too much buy power, buying pressure. And I don't really see us going that much. Again, it's one person's opinion. It's not financial advice. And I'm not a financial advisor. But I just want to say that history does leave clues. And if you got four consecutive wars that it happens to, I mean, why why wouldn't we anticipate that number five would be no different? Now, the market's been going down, down, down since November. Like, I'm, like I mentioned, I'm very much of, of, of the opinion that we are to coming to towards the end of a bear market that we've had from November to now, and that we're about to kick off a massive bull run. I, I'm of that opinion. Like I'm not, I'm not being shaken out. I know you guys, you know, some some keyboard warriors like to put their comments out there. But for me, I'm, I'm sticking to fundamentals and I, and I'm sticking to history. And that's my um, my two cents on that topic. But of course, you know, when you look at the prices and and what's been happening and where we were heading yesterday. I mean, we were down, right? I mean, we, we went down, down, down. So obviously a lot of analysts are like, you know, well, we could be going down even further. Some people say, you know, we could be going into the 20s. And there's always somebody that says we're going into the 20s. I've been hearing going to the 20s, the whole of 2021. And we're back again in 2022. People talking about, you know, get Bitcoin at 20,000. Look, I got to break it to you. It ain't going to happen. It just ain't going to happen. It's just too much buy power, too much buying volume at these low 30s that it just bounces bounces really hard now could the ripple price to drop below a critical support is 50 cents at play like a 50 cents flat at you know we'll talk about that today you know yesterday we went we dropped down to as low as uh, 62 today we were as high as 71 currently sitting at 69 8.95 percent up and we'll definitely talk about that and we'll, we'll talk about all the different levels and what does that look like? You know, can we go down to 50? What would that look like? So there, there was always obviously quite a lot to um, to discuss. Now, Elon Musk has come out saying, I didn't start the fire, but I will finish it. Again, Elon and the SEC are clashing. And I think it's good. I mean, the more people complain about the SEC's behavior and the more people rally against the SEC, it's good. I mean, we know that they're corrupt and, you know, they they like to do things their way. But he says, I'm considering taking Tesla private at four, $420 funding secured. That's interesting. So let's see what happens there. But look, I think it's positive when people complain about the SEC and the more people complain. I don't know necessarily if it'll speed up or what's happening with, with, with XRP, but... Yeah, Elon's been linked a couple of times to XRP. I, I choose to ignore those. Like I, I, I genuinely don't do not believe that this man is good for XRP. 
I don't think we need him, to be honest. Like, I, I actually don't believe we need him at all. But again, just one person's opinion um, when it comes to that. So, let's see. Let's see where, 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 where that takes us, but not sure. Not sure, um, you know, if Elon is involved in any shape or form with XRP, to be honest, I don't, I don't think he is. And, and to me, that's a long, it's a good thing. Now, this photo is, you know, it applies to so many things, right? But what I'm really passionate about and why I started the channel in the first place is the mentality, the mindset around investing. Now, day to day, year to year, decade, right? You're going to have that long term mindset. Because decade, that's the only way that it goes, right? Just have that long term mindset, only put in what you can afford to lose. Don't get shaken out. You know how many people got shaken out yesterday? It upsets me. Doesn't impact my portfolio, but it upsets me that people sold yesterday. It really does. That's why I'm on here. That's why that's why I do what I do. There's no other reason why I'm on here. Now, let's talk about what's happening behind the behind the scenes. Now I like Jack the Rippler, puts out some really good content. But it, we are coming towards the reset of the international monetary system. You know it, I know it. And XRP is right in the middle of that. Now, if this is all sounding like mumbo jumbo to you, because maybe you started to research XRP today or yesterday, and you really, really need to do this, right? You gotta wrap your head around how XRP will be the bridge currency of all currencies. Really do some research over the weekend, right? Quit, quit on your favorite Netflix show and actually, you know, learn something really, really valuable because it's going to pay off really understanding this. Now, the global payments today, the global payments with Ripple. That's what we're talking about. Now, Russia might be getting taken off SWIFT. Now, if Russia gets taken off SWIFT, then they'll switch over to, to Ripple. They'll switch over to XRP. It makes sense. And it's just, a, but this is just the beginning, right? Regardless of what happens with Russia or not, this is the future about where we are headed from a global payment perspective, right? The, the days of SWIFT running with its old, outdated, clunky, broken down car, similar system, you know, the Nokia 3310 of the financial system, it's going to be over. It's not going to happen overnight. But Ripple and XRP blockchain will take over. Now, what I like to do on days like today as well, is I really, really like to pay attention to Whale Alert about what is going on there. And there is a lot of XRP that is being transferred from unknown wallet to unknown wallet. Now, Whale Alert, I, I would encourage you to check this out, especially on days when you know markets are down or liquidating and all that. But like you can see right, how much is being moved from transfer from unknown wallet to Binance. Like there's some large moves happening at the moment. Large XLM to, to Binance, um, USDT, 1,000 BTC transferred from un, un, you know, unknown wallets to BitBank. So it pays to, to understand where the money is moving. And I'm not saying to sit, sit here and live on it every day. Just have a browse and be like, okay, well, what's going on? Like, well, what's being moved around? Like, you know, how much USDT just got moved? You know, transfer from unknown wallet to Teva Treasury. Like, this is in, this is interesting stuff to to look into, and I encourage you to because it does it does make sense. Now, plans to isolate Russian financial institutions from the global financial system. Swift. This shows the reason for America's acceleration of regulating crypto CBDCs and the clarity of XRP as the bridge between CBDCs. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yes, yes, yes. It's coming. It's coming. Now, where we're at right now and where can we go? Can we see 50 cents from here? Look, just because we've gone up to 38,000, we're at 10% up, could be a trap. So you gotta play, you gotta, you gotta understand and, and play all these scenarios. So that's scenario number one. Scenario number two is that that 62 cents was the bottom and now and now we start to go up. So my, my, 
my thoughts are that BTC will not go lower than 33,000. That's just that's just my opinion. So I think that we're very, very close to what appears to be the bottom, finally, after four months, and we're really going to start to take off. Can we touch 60 cents? Yeah, possibly. Like, uh, you know, 60 cents and, you know, high 50s are still in play at the moment. But right now, myself personally, I'm just keeping an open mind on all, on all possibilities. No moves at the moment, myself, because it's, it's still volatile. It's still volatile and I don't have a clear signal um, to, to get a good entry right now. So I encourage you to, over the weekend, spend a lot of time researching, really understanding what it is that you want to get out of your portfolio, only putting it in where you can afford to lose, and more importantly, just learn, 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 learn. And you'll see that you have an incredible 2022. And I hope you, you stick around. Now, if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. As always, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.